Now, in her case, I'm feeling just tension or whatever you want right here at the base of the skull. So now I'm crossing midline. Her, I'm actually going to go, um, and you'll see my fingers come around on the neck. And I'm here, and that's all I'm doing is just, again, you see how I'm just slowly just rotating the head. And if you notice, I'm not here. So now, again, I'm just, I'm still working on the same function, and I'm just working on how the head rotates. How I always think of the head is like the Macy's Day's floats. There's strings, which are muscles, obviously, going up to hold the head. So, again, most people are looking at our heads fixed on our spine, but our heads have to float. It's just a ball and socket joint. So if she were to look this way which is actually quite difficult for her because right now she has a lot of tension going up right through the, the right here. And also the, the chest cavity just doesn't want to rotate as much as it, I'd like it to. But again, we just started, but I'm talking aloud. I would not normally talk like this to a client so much because I don't want Mercedes to walk away thinking, Oh, great. Well, I have all this tension in my neck. When I talk about that someone's not moving or this, I'm already working on that to change it. You really have to watch your words with someone. If I say your, your L2 is out, what's your brain going to do with it? You know what I mean? Like, what? Or same thing. Or your child should be sitting up by now. Well, if they don't know how to tell your child how to sit up or show it, then they can go out the door. I, as I'm so tired of people just having all this criticism with no way of helping the brain, the body at that moment. And then I'll just go back and again see, did that make any difference? I'm literally, I found a spot, I'm going like a sixteenth of an inch. And then I'll go back. If you can't walk forwards, you can't walk backwards. There's no difference on a rotation. There's no difference on any kind of movement in your system. It's not about the hand being a perfect, it's not about me. It's, it's about how Mercedes is moving and how, do you see how much nicer that's getting? Because again, the more she can do these fine moves, the more she can appreciate art, the more she'd have less of a headache, the more she'd have, I mean, who knows? At this point, you can see just by moving the neck how much now the chest cavity moves, even the pelvis and the knees. So tighten your, uh, curl your right toe. Feel the difference in the neck and the body. Let the foot go. You can do this many different variations. Again, the brain learns good from bad. So let's say um, someone that has issues with your back, another thing you could say, because I always feel that the, the, they have good stomach muscles, that's what makes everything better. So tighten your abdomen. Now feel the neck, even just lifting. So let the belly go. And then usually you'll get even greater movement than you have. Because what the brain's learning too is, oh, I don't need to, to move my neck in this position. I don't have to have tight abs. I don't have to tighten my toes. Now this is walking, this is running. 
again, it's not about me. It's not about what I'm doing here. It's about how this is going to impact your life. So if you say something like, there you go, and oh, and how much easier it'll be to get into the car and look to see who's on your right side and on your left side, that's where the brain's like, oh, that I can use. See now how the extension works? And literally, I'm just allowing her head to totally float in my hands. I'm not. But that her brain has the experience of how beautiful her head can move on her body. Because there we go. What a lot of people's necks don't do is round. See how nice that the whole neck is actually just arching. And to do that, to see how the back is swaying the way it's doing, the spine. So again, tighten your abs. See the difference? Now I can only lift the head. Because the spine can't react. So let the abs go. See how? You know, this is putting up decorations. This is looking down to tie a shoe. This is looking down, you know, this is all these wonderful things. If the head can't do this, you know, it's so much harder to put your shoes on, to do just daily functions. 